It may explain the rise of colon cancer among some young adults. The answer could be in their genes. About 15% of colorectal cancer is genetically inheritable. Um, and a smaller subset of that, what we call Lynch syndrome or HNPCC, colon cancer. Lynch syndrome is an inherited defect handed down the family tree. Doctors are starting to look for it during surgery in a program called reflex testing. Every single colon tumor is going to be tested if it is removed in someone who is age 60 or younger. They're going to test every single one and they'll let people know through the genetics counselors whether they tested positive for this syndrome. Testing tumors is a starting point. If this deviant gene is identified, it's a warning for the entire family. The mutation is inherited by 50%, meaning if a parent has it, their child has a 50% chance of carrying the gene. So one confirmation means the rest of the family should be screened. There are blood tests that they can run on the other members of your family and they can also do extra testing on you to see um, if you would have any of the other cancers that go along with this syndrome. Carriers also have a genetic predisposition for ovarian, bladder, kidney and endometrial cancers. The lifetime risk of colorectal may be as high as 80 percent. When we find children of patients who have this genetic variant, we start their screening even in their early 20s. Cancers related to this gene tend to strike younger with a more aggressive nature. We think that in average people it takes from 5 to 10 years to go from a polyp to a cancer. We think that in people with HNPCC that they could go more rapidly within a few years. Understanding your family history may help you better gauge your future cancer risk. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.